It was in this building that John Clarkson was sentenced to six months' imprisonment. His crime? Having sex with his long-term boyfriend, Billy Ray, who was nine years his senior. Billy was sentenced to two years. This was 1965, and sex between men was illegal. Despite it being the swinging 60s, the treatment that John and Billy received at the hands of the police and the legal system are a reminder of how unjustly homosexuality could still be treated. This is the story of John's arrest and trial, but also of how he went on to be a leading campaigner for gay rights in Nottingham. John was born in 1946 and grew up in Clifton. He first met Billy at the Co-op Arts Theatre in November 1963, and by February 1964 they had set up home together. They seemed to have been a happy couple who were very much in love with each other. It was the closeness between the men that attracted the attention of the police. John had already had a run-in with the law. He'd been charged with shoplifting and been given a fine. That should have been the end of the matter, but the police suspected that the two men were lovers, and they contrived to search their flat, claiming that they were looking for more stolen property. Police officers ransacked the flat and took two Christmas cards, a tin of talcum powder, a jar of Nivea cream, a piece of toweling, several commercial physique magazines, and two pairs of briefs. These went from being innocuous items to incriminating evidence. The Christmas card messages seem in many ways so mundane. All my love as ever, John. Very Merry Christmas, lots of love, Billy. But to some, they seemed shocking. There was nothing in the law to rule against two men loving each other. What the police needed to prove was that John and Billy had had sex. They were sent for medical examinations, which showed signs of anal sex. Two days later, the police returned to the flat and took the sheets from the men's bed. Both the medical and the forensic results came as little surprise. The police had the evidence they wanted. The trial was set for the 7th of July, 1965. In court, the items that had been seized from the flat were displayed for all to see, an act of humiliation. An usher held up the bedsheet in the middle of the courtroom and the prosecutor pointed out the incriminating stains to the jury. The verdict came back guilty and the judge, Melford Stevenson, saw fit to give both men custodial sentences. John and Billy's plight came to the attention of the Homosexual Law Reform Society. They had thought the case would help expose the cruelty of the law on homosexuality and would be thrown out of court. But campaigns continued. The change in the law to partially decriminalise sex between men came two years later, but so limited was the 1967 Sexual Offences Act that John and Billy would still have been criminalised right up until 1994. Justice Stevenson, who handed down the sentence to John and Billy, contemptuously referred to the act as a bugger's charter. These injustices that John Clarkson endured when he was just 19 only increased his belief in the campaign for gay rights. After release from prison, he continued his involvement with the Homosexual Law Reform Society. He became a leading figure in Nottingham Gay Life, a member of Knott's Campaign for Homosexual Equality, coordinator of Nottingham Gay Switchboard, and part of Gays Against Nazis. John found strength and used his experiences as fuel for his passion for justice. In retrospect, it didn't ruin my life. It's probably enriched my life, he said. Having gone through that, it gave me determination. I wanted to fight and prevent it from happening again. 